Hey everybody, in this video, I'm showing you how to transfer your T-Mobile physical SIM on your old phone to eSIM on the new iPhone 14 series. Now, there's a couple different ways to do this, and I'm gonna show you what I think is the easiest way. The first thing to note is that there is a software update available for the iPhone 14 series that actually fixes issues that you could have transferring from physical SIM to eSIM. So what I recommend you do is go ahead and set your phone up as you normally would and restore from your backup. So just put the phones next to each other and if they're unlocked, you should get an auto prompt. And once that pops up, go ahead and tap continue and you'll be able to restore all of your information from your old phone to your new phone. This is gonna include your photos, your contacts, all the good stuff like that, your applications. Now there is a new option here to set up the new phone. You can either set it up for yourself or create a new child account. I recommend you just set it up for yourself and you're gonna be prompted to enter the passcode of your old phone, so go ahead and do that now. And importantly, when you get to this option, which is prompting you to transfer your T-Mobile phone number, I recommend you tap set up later in settings. And the only reason I recommend this right now is again, there is a software update that fixes issues. And my concern is if you try and transfer it from your old iPhone immediately right now, you could have a possible error due to a bug in the older software. So I recommend you tap set up later in settings and I'll show you exactly how to transfer your phone number after your phone is set up. So set up later in settings, go ahead, set this new phone up as you normally would. And then once it's set up, go ahead, go into settings, scroll down to general, tap software update, and go ahead and download and install the new software that fixes eSIM transfer issues on your new phone. Once you've installed the update, you can go back into settings, go to cellular, and then tap set up cellular. This is gonna be how you're gonna actually transfer your phone number. From the list of phone numbers, <laughs> you probably will only have one, but I review cell phone plans, so I have a lot. Go ahead and select the phone number you want. This one is my T-Mobile number, so I'm gonna tap continue to transfer that, and then tap transfer number. You're gonna be prompted to confirm on your other iPhone, so when you see the prompt, tap transfer SIM, and this will allow the SIM transfer to continue. Go ahead and double click the power button to confirm the transfer. You don't actually need to use Face ID or anything, you just have to physically double click the power button. Not 100% sure why that is, but there you go. And then you'll notice on your new phone, it'll say activating. So it is going to go ahead and transfer that physical SIM on your old phone to eSIM on your new iPhone 14 Pro. Your phone will activate on the T-Mobile network. You can see it now says T-Mobile in the top left there. And that is how you transfer from physical SIM on your old phone to eSIM on your new iPhone 14. But what if you don't see the option to do the quick transfer, or what if it's not working, or what if you just preemptively wanna convert your T-Mobile physical SIM to eSIM on your old phone while you're waiting for your new iPhone 14 to arrive? I'm now gonna show you how to transfer from physical SIM on T-Mobile to eSIM on the same iPhone. And to do this, you need to actually use the T-Mobile website. First, log into your T-Mobile account. Then in the top left-hand corner, click the account tab. This is gonna load up the account page. And here you should see a list of all your devices. Find the device you want to convert from physical SIM to eSIM and simply select that device. Then on the device page, scroll down and click update device SIM. This is gonna bring you to a window with two options. You can either choose update SIM to a new device or update SIM on current device. If you choose current device, this will make it a little bit easier to convert from physical SIM to eSIM. All you would do is select current device, click continue, click eSIM, click continue, and walk through that process. If you're switching to a new device or if you have issues with the current device process, then just click new device, click continue, and you're gonna enter your 15 digit IMEI number. You can find your device IMEI by going into settings, scrolling down to general, tapping about, and then scrolling down to the bottom. You'll actually see two IMEI numbers here, and it doesn't matter which one you use. One thing to note is I did have issues when I was copying and pasting the number in, so you may need to enter it manually. When you have that entered, go ahead and click continue. The next step is to select what kind of SIM you wanna activate, either eSIM or physical SIM card, Obviously you wanna to convert to eSIM, so select eSIM and then click continue. Make sure you're connected to Wi-Fi and then click, okay, I'm ready to continue. T-Mobile is gonna ask you to confirm your device EID number. You can find this in your settings again. There it is, that's that super long number right there. Or you can dial star pound zero six pound. Once you have that entered and it should auto-populate, 
go ahead and click continue. Next, T-Mobile will show you an activation summary. You'll see your old device on the left and your new device on the right. And if everything looks good, you can go ahead and scroll down and click confirm activation. The final step is to jump into settings, go to cellular, and tap add eSIM. You should see an option that says T-Mobile SIM ready to install or something like that. It looks like I'm not seeing that option. And if this happens to you, simply tap other options at the bottom and then tap use QR code. And you can use the QR code on T-Mobile support page. You can also enter the details manually. And this is where you can enter the SMDP plus address, the activation code and the confirmation code. I'm gonna go ahead and scan the QR code and come right back. And when you scan the QR code, you'll get a pop-up that says add cellular plan tap activate eSIM, tap continue. This is where you get that message and eSIM from T-Mobile is ready to be activated on this iPhone. So I wasn't seeing that before, but thankfully it looks like the QR code method totally worked. And then it should say activating at the bottom. And there you go, cellular setup complete. Your T-Mobile phone number is now active on this iPhone. Go ahead and tap done. You can customize your phone numbers. And if you go home, you can actually see in the top status bar, your T-Mobile number was successfully transferred to eSIM on either your current phone or a new phone. That is how you transfer from physical SIM to eSIM, either from your old phone to your new iPhone 14 or 14 Pro, or how to convert from physical SIM on your old phone to eSIM on your old phone using the T-Mobile website. Please click the like button if you found this video helpful and get subscribed to save money on your cell phone bill. I'm Stetson, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.